Archimedes law. So the buoyancy leads us to Archimedes law. Let us define it. So Archimedes law states that any body either wholly or partly submerged in a fluid is buoyed up with a force equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. In buoyancy we measure the weight of the fluid that is displaced. Now Archimedes says that this weight of the fluid displaced is equal to the force of buoyancy. There is a story that goes with Archimedes and his law that he was given a gold crown and was asked to determine whether it is made of pure gold or, or it is impure. Without scratching it or breaking the surface of the gold, he was supposed to find out. How he did that? He did it by weighing the gold crown suspended on a string in a basin of water and compared this weight with the gold's normal weight. Take it as an example and try to see how he did that. Let's say gold crown actual weight is 2700 grams and the weight in water when it was suspended in water it is 2560 grams. So what is the loss of weight when it was suspended in water? The difference of these two leads to 140 grams. So the buoyant effect of water is giving rise to this loss of weight. And as per Archimedes law, it says that weight of the fluid displaced is equal to the buoyant effect. So this 140 grams is the weight of water the crown has displaced. Now we know the density of water which is 1 gram per centimeter cube. Now the volume of water displaced is also the 140 centimeter cube because this is the weight of water displaced. As per Archimedes, this becomes weight of the fluid and in this case it is water. Hence, volume of water displaced becomes 140 centimeter cube which is nothing but volume of the crown also. So when we measure the density, density is weight by volume. So which becomes the weight here is actual weight of this crown is 2700 grams and volume is 140 when it is cancelled we get 19.3 grams per centimeter cube so the density of the crown happens to be 19.3 grams per centimeter cube when the submersion experiment is done on the crown so this happened to be the density of gold. Hence, Archimedes could surely say that the goldsmith is an honest man and this crown is made of pure gold. This is how the story goes, how Archimedes proved his law. One more example we will see because the Archimedes talks of in his law that even the partially submerged in the fluid any body either wholly or partially submerged so the best example for partially submerged which used archimedes law is ship in water in this case what happens the weight of the ship is equal to weight of the water it displaces this is the principle on which the ships sail on the ocean. Take one more example to understand the Archimedes law. Take a stone which weighs 200 grams. 
actual weight of the stone. This, when it is submerged in water, weight of stone in water happens to be 140 grams and weight of stone in oil. This example gives the effects of this displacement in different fluids like water and oil. So when we know weight of the stone in water, we can find out what is the displaced weight in water. Displaced weight is 60 grams because it is 200 minus 140, 60 grams. This leads to displaced volume to be 60 centimeter cube. Now to find out the density of stone, it is weight by volume, 200 grams by 60 centimeter cube, 3.33 grams per centimeter cube which becomes the density of stone. Now we will find out what is the density of oil. We know that the weight of stone in oil is 150 grams. So, in oil, the displaced weight is 50 grams because 200 minus 150 is 50, 50 grams. And the volume of oil displaced is also the same, 60 centimeter cube. Density of oil is equal to weight by volume which is equal to 50 by 60 0 0 gets cancelled which is 5 by 6 which is 0 0.83 grams per centimeter cube the 60 centimeter cube volume of the stone displaced 50 grams of oil 50 grams of weight in oil that means the stone loss in oil is 50 grams and the volume of the stone is 60 centimeter cube which we found from the case of water. So density of oil is weight by volume so 50 by 60 which gives rise to 0.83 grams per centimeter cube. So from Archimedes principle we can also find out the density of the object by finding the volume of the stone and then the density of another fluid in which this, the same object is immersed. So to find the densities of various other fluids, you can use this Archimedes law.